a great week of practice. Um, we were able Tuesday, Wednesday to go to work on Alabama and try and improve some areas that we thought were really important. Um, and then, you know, we go into our regular scout routine today with Auburn. Obviously, we've been working on a little bit on Tuesday, Wednesday as well, but to really get a little deeper into things today with personnel, um, they've had some changes to their roster. Um, but absolutely, you know, after seeing them last night against Kentucky, um, it gives us more of a true feeling today on exactly what we'll be faced with on Sunday as far as their roster numbers. And, um, you know, they played great last night. Um, it really helps when you have a full roster as they did. And um, we know we have our hands full. We're gonna have to take care of the basketball against the pressure. We can't give them easy baskets. And then they have one of the best centers in the country in Unique Thompson, that's a regular double-double and will be a WNBA draft pick. Um, so we're gonna have to, to do two really good things, Steve, you know, on the defensive end with containing Unique and, and defending the boards. And then we're gonna have to make sure that we take care of the basketball. They're very deep. Um, they played a lot of folks last night. Um, and uh, we're going to have our hands full on Sunday. We know in a rivalry game, anything can happen. And uh, we're going to have to be prepared for um, a very good Auburn team. I think their record is deceiving. Um, and again, they have a full roster. And it'll, it'll be a really great matchup. Questions? Go ahead, James. Uh, yeah, Coach, this is your first of a, a couple times in the SEC schedule where you get this full week uh, between games. So how have you guys utilized it and how big of an advantage is that in this weird season to, to have a break where you can kind of reset? It's important. I also think it's important in how you handle it as a coaching staff and how you handle it individually as a player. And um, we have tried to educate um, within our culture on how do you use a by date, not just um, this week, but from past experiences. And so with our experience that's returning, I know that, you know, I think with coaches, when you come off a loss, sometimes there's a sense of panic to adjust. And uh, we didn't do that. We didn't, we didn't say, hey, we've got to practice Thursday. We've got to practice Monday and take one day off. We gave them two days off. We really trust our team. And we feel like the rest was really important to take a Monday and a Thursday off because of the amount of minutes. Our first group is playing an awful lot of minutes right now. So we feel like the preparation on Tuesday, Wednesday, uh, we had two great practices, as I mentioned, a lot of time in the film room to balance out work on the floor and then come back and take yesterday off. And um, we're a day we would normally be playing. And I hope we look refreshed and refocused mentally and physically head, headed into this weekend. Roger. I guess forgive the pun, but what makes Thompson unique in terms of trying to go around her? And it seems like Araya's has always played well against her. Does she kind of relish a matchup like this? Well, I hope Araya relishes every matchup because it seems like in this league, there's so much size and so many talented teams that have an impact five player. You know, it's been back to back to back games where Araya has to draw sometimes the leading score. Um, Araya, I think, and Unique, both being four year players, have, have enjoyed competing against one another and have a lot of respect for one another. I know Araya has a lot of respect for her and seems to rise to the challenge. We um, feel like that, you know, as much as we're worried about defending, um, I'm sure they're worried about defending Araya, but at the end of the day, it's going to have to be by committee on the boards. You can't single, you know, cover her contact wise on rebounds. I think the thing that makes Unique special is just she's not just an area rebounder. She goes and gets it. She doesn't wait for the ball to come to her. Great size, great bounce, great presence. The one thing that I've really seen this season is she's really improved her elbow, short corner. She's improved her range. And, you know, when you take away the block and around the rim, she's gotten that face up game to a different place. And you can tell she spent a lot of time on it. Cannot put her on the free throw line. She's outstanding from the free throw line. So each and every year she's added a new improvement dimension to her game. And she, she just does a great job in so many different areas. Everything goes through her and should go through her. And we're gonna have our hands full. Any other questions? Uh, Coach, you talked about, you know, needing to take care of the ball, and we've always seen that with Coach Flo, it seems like, at Auburn. Just have you been pleased with how your team has been able to handle the basketball so far this year? You know, I, I have been. Um, we have had a couple of moments where we have not. 
But I think when I talk about turnovers, you know, a, a bad shot can also be the same as a turnover. So I feel like we've really tried to improve um, what the difference between a good shot and a bad shot. We've spent time on the analytical side with our team teaching um, where we're at our best and why we're at our best and making sure that we're taking good shots. Um, so it's a combination of actually turnovers lead to easy baskets. You know, missed layups lead to easy baskets if you often watch. So we've got to finish plays offensively and it not just be categorized in the turnover category. We've got to make shots and, and take the right shots. We're much better when we're taking good shots, high percentage shots, shot star strength. Anything else, guys? All right, thank you. Well tied.